Good morning from the National Weather Service Norman Forecast Office. Here's a special early morning severe weather outlook to help you plan your day today. This was recorded around 745 on Friday, May 31st, 2013. Got to do this one more time today, and I think after today, the uh, severe weather potential will be way down for a while, so I know that's all good news for us. Um, headlines today, it's a complex forecast. This is not a slam dunk, automatic, easy forecast today. There's some elements that make it a little bit complicated. We do think we have the highest tornado potential that we've seen this week today. Uh, something different than yesterday as storms will start later than they did. We'll talk about that in a second. And if you have evening plans tonight, if you're planning to go to a movie or eating out or traveling or anything like that, you need to think about tornado safety in your plans. Not saying cancel plans or change plans just now, but keep that in the back of your mind because the timing of these storms are going to put them at a kind of a, uh, a bad time if you're out this evening. Here's our severe weather risk area for today. We do have a moderate risk of severe thunderstorms that includes uh, the I-44 corridor along on either side. So if you draw a line basically from, oh, between Perry and Stillwater down to El Reno, then down toward Hobart, then curve it around to include Lawton, Duncan, uh, Davis down in Murray County, Ada, and then up toward Holdenville. If you're in that red shaded area, you have a higher potential for damaging hail, uh, very strong straight line winds over 75 miles an hour, and that's our highest tornado potential area as well. If you're in the orange shaded area, that would include Ponca City, Enid, Clinton, Altus, and points eastward, you have a risk of severe thunderstorms. You also have a risk of tornadoes and large hail, but it's not as great as it is in the red shaded area. We expect storms to develop later today. This is our forecast weather map for around 3 o'clock this afternoon. We'll see a dry line pushing into western Oklahoma out from Clinton to Altus. We'll see a stationary front extending from Clinton up toward Ponca City. If you're east of the dry line, south of that front, that's where we expect storms to develop. Maybe in both areas, uh, the storms we'll be most concerned about will be uh, the area along the dry line there. And uh, we will look for isolated supercell storms to develop probably closer to that 4 to 6 p.m. time frame. But we'll be watching out by mid-afternoon. And those could be severe very, very quickly with very large destructive hail. We had over softball size hail reported yesterday. We'll see that again today and the tornado threat will be increasing as we get toward evening. Here's this evening's forecast. We think this will be the prime threat time for tornadoes, perhaps significant tornadoes. This would be centered on the Oklahoma City metro area, basically I-44 from Lawton through Oklahoma City and up toward the Tulsa area again today. Um, every county in this red shaded area is not going to see a significant tornado, but any red shaded county could. Again, the yellow shading does not indicate that you're out of the woods tornado wise, but the potential will not be as high. If you're in any shaded area, you need to be on the alert for severe thunderstorms. I can almost promise you we'll have a tornado watch out later this afternoon and lots of warnings. So please be very alert during the 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. time frame. This is different than the tornadoes we've seen the past week and a half or so. These are going to be later in the day and after dark, so we need to be very, very cautious. The tornado threat will uh, slow down just a bit after 10 o'clock this evening. We'll still see widespread rain and thunderstorms. The flooding problems will start to increase. We'll still see a threat of some large hail and damaging winds even after 10 tonight. And let's not forget the flooding potential. Lots of areas have had very heavy rain. Uh, so we do have a flash flood watch that includes the counties along and either side of Interstate 35, uh, including the Oklahoma City metro area all the way down through uh, Shawnee, Seminole, and Holdenville. So be very alert tonight. Flash flooding threat will also increase after dark. So remember, never drive into areas where water covers the road. This is a quick update. We'll do another one a little bit later this morning. It's very important to keep up to date with the latest weather information today. Our webpage, weather.gov, always has the latest information, but you can get information on social media, on Facebook and Twitter. And just stay tuned throughout the day. Stay alert and uh, tell your family and friends to watch out. Let's get through one more day and then things will quiet down.